Hi, I'm Steve Hunt, professional sailor and coach of the national champion Point Loma High School sailing team. You may recognize me on Salix's flow. I've been playing Salix for the last five years because I really enjoy it, and it helps keep my tactical and rules knowledge sharp. Given how much I've taken away from Salix over the last few years, I thought it'd be fun to give back and host a series of lessons to help you improve your results. I hope you enjoy the lesson, and I'll see you on the water soon. Welcome to lesson number three by Steve Hunt, Sail Towards the Mark. I'm going to use SailX here, sailing the boat flow. And the first two lessons were start near the favored end because it puts you ahead in the race. Second lesson was sail in more wind because wind makes sailboats move. And I know those sound obvious, but for some reason a lot of people don't do it, and you may be one of them. So start near the favored end. Maybe you wouldn't do that if it was super crowded or the other side of the course was very favored. Uh, and sail in more wind. You pretty much always want to do that unless the only exception would be if it's super windy already and you're already starting to rag your sails. Sometimes upwind, a little more wind makes you rag your sails even harder, not fast. But the other 95% of the time, probably depending on where you sail, you want to sail in more wind because it makes your boat go faster. The third lesson is sail towards the mark. So I see here on the left it says 12 degrees left shift. So the pin is very favored. The wind looks pretty even to me. So I'm going to try to get off the line, make sure I'm in the wind, and then tack and get on port tack. Because starboard tack right now, the tack we're all on, is headed. So we're going to start at the pin, and because it's so favored, we might be able to tack and cross the fleet. So 12 seconds, 11 seconds, looks like we might be able to win it here if I get my timing right. Nailed it. Okay, we're going to tack and cross the fleet. But as I look, I see a little more wind to our left. <clears throat> so I'm going to zoom out here we're on the long tack. You can see we're, we're definitely aiming more towards the mark than the other tack. But this is a great example because I'm slightly conflicted and that I think there's a little more wind to the left. Scratch that. The wind just filled in on the right. So the dilemma is over. But let's say the wind did not fill in on the right and it, it was further left. I may tack and head over towards more wind, especially if other boats got leveraged over there. But since most of the fleet is going straight here, I would probably go straight and just stick with the group. If you ever split from the majority of the fleet, you better be darn sure you're right. So here we are executing all three rules so far. Start near the favored end, sail in more wind, and sail towards the mark. Eventually as we get over here, the other tack will become favored. But I see the wind slowly clicking right, which is a persistent shift. It's not going back and forth. So I'll go as far as I can here and then tack. He, Wombat should have called for room to tack. I would have had to give it to him. But we're tacking here, winning the race because we followed all of our rules. The wind will probably keep going right. We'll end up footing a little bit and be in great shape winning the beat. 